Dead air. This time too high. He had the benefit of the wind behind him, Martin. And Jordan go Davis. On, boys. Allowed to go on. Brian Flynn with a header. Brazil caught by a deep cross and Flynn diving in into the roof of the net. Well, we were saying before the game, we're having a laugh about the lack of height in the Welsh team. And we said we have to laugh if, if the little Flynn came in and headed one at the back post. That's ex Now, what will be the response from Brazil? Ed Air, Socrates. It wasn't stuck particularly cleanly. Actually, the ball that Socrates played through in the first place just held up a little bit. But it fell nicely for him on the return to get. He's passed the wall again and denied by a marvellous save from Neville Southall. Well, that was an incredible free kick. Look at the bend the ball had. Fantastic save by the goalkeeper. A tremendous pace. Got a shirt pulling on Alan Davis. It's Flynn. Still Brian Flynn. They are on full stretch. And fortunately for Brazil. It's there. Where it was a nice little flick and Brian Flynn coming from the back. Got through again. Tried to play it across the goalkeeper, which is the right thing to do. And uh hey there. And Karika and Marcio both attack the ball. Southall. On his line, it was Marcio who got his head to it, in fact, and it was only a foot wide. He's the target. Thomas used the hand. I must say that at 16 and 7, Mark, the Brazilians at the back there, they're all prepared to come out just as the kick has been taken. It's Socrates at the back there. Thomas, pass better. And the crowd rise. As Thomas plays in the cross. And Flynn! Well, they all side from Brian Flynn of an outstanding goal, which would have been worthy of any Brazilian. A volley that was right on target until they are tipped it wide. Socrates chasing, and Joey Jones nearly pulling through his own goal. Southall can afford to grin. Jones to reflect. Well, that was amazing, isn't it? Almost two own goals in there. Uh... In comes Charles. Against the post, Gordon Davis! Well, it was a header from Jeremy Charles in the manner of his uncle John. And how close it came, Gordon Davis really should have done better with the rebound. Carica. Jeremy Charles in making the tackle on the run fell awkwardly. But the referee allows play to go on, and Paolo Isidoro makes it 1 1, and the goal stands. Well, I must say, I'm very disappointed that the referee never stopped again with Jeremy Charles on the floor. The referee was standing beside him. Should have stopped the game. They allowed him to go on. And uh, you know, they're all caught six and seven. The ball just beat Joey Jones. And then Isadora to stick it through the goalkeeper's legs. But I must say, a bad, bad decision by the referee. In from Flynn. And up from Joey Jones, held by Leon. That was a free header for Joey there. And. Uh, We've been saying about the marking in the Brazilian defence. I mean, it's non-existent again there. And Joey should really maybe have done better there with that. This is Betão. And Socrates. Hey there. They found one when it mattered. Or oh, have they? The linesman reacted. It certainly seemed late to me. But the goal does not stand for offsides. 
certainly put his flag up uh, as soon as the ball was played in there. Let's just have a look at it now and we'll see. I say they're coming in at the back. It's Socrates is offside and definitely affecting play. Good decision by the linesman. Jones. Betau. Straight to Thomas. And Leal just kept it out. Mickey Thomas has got a dozen goals for Stoke this season. But again, the defensive play for Brazilians was uh, very, very poor. And only a great goalkeeper keeping them in the game here. What a fine result for a second string Welsh team. They held the world's mightiest football nation, a result of which they can be truly proud. Brian Flynn, the scorer after four minutes. Paolo Isidoro, a confident equaliser.